Okay, guys. Um, I think we need to have a talk. Oh, here we go. A little less bright. Okay, no. A little more bright. <laughs> Welcome to the official announcement of the month of horror. This year, I've got big plans. I did this about two years ago. I played a few horror games, and I wanted you guys to give me your opinions about the games that you want me to play. Some I don't own, some I'm about to own. The majority of the ones that are listed here, I definitely do own, but I want you guys to tell me, give me your opinions. If you guys don't leave me comments, or you guys don't let me know on my Facebook page which games you want me to play from this list, I'm afraid I might just have to pick many of these out random. Some of them I've already think I'm gonna be doing, but ladies and gentlemen, we will get now to the nitty and the gritty. The games that I'm thinking about playing this year goes as follows. The list is Alien Isolation, Amnesia, The Dark Descent, Amnesia, A Machine for Pigs, Dead Light, Dead Space 1, 2, or 3, Fear, Five Nights at Freddy's, the entire game, which is actually something that I've been wanting to do for quite some time, so that will probably be one of them. Four of them. <laughs> what was that? Okay, I gotta keep going. Limbo. Lone Survivor. The full version of Never Ending Nightmares. Penumbra. The first one. I don't know which one is the first one. It, uh, they have names. They're not numbered. But it's the first one. Just... Just assume it's the first one, okay? Slender, The Arrival, The Binding of Isaac, The Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing, The Stanley Parable, or Antichamber. The reason I pick these two is because although Stanley Parable doesn't seem to be riddled in horror, it does have a lot of psychologicalness into it, so it could fit in some way, especially Antichamber, because Antichamber looks like a freakishly weird game to play, so it might fit perfectly, but um, if it's not scary, I'm not, it's not going to be blasphemous to the, the thing. What was that? Okay, maybe making it, uh, I don't know, but anyway, The Void, They Bleed Pixels, and Soma. Soma is the brand new game that came out from Frictional Games. They are the ones that made the Amnesia Games, the Penumbra series, and Soma has a system shocky sort of space horror feel to it. Which is just, uh, it just makes my heart tingle. And just in time for it, uh, for coming out right before the holidays where everybody's theming everything with horror. So that I don't own yet, but I'm feeling, I have a feeling that it's probably going to go down in price a little bit on sale. Just because it's the month of horror, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, as I said before, you guys got the option to offer me suggestions. I will play the games that you guys all suggest the most for me to play. And if you guys don't, then I'm going to just pick a few of these up and random. But the definitive ones that I'm going to be doing uh, most likely is going to be the entire FNAF series, uh, Slender, uh, and Amnesia, because those were, and Soma, because those are games where I've wanted to play them. I own Outlast Whistleblower as well, but I did Outlast that last time ago, time ago. And if I do Outlast again, it's probably gonna be Whistleblower. And I like to know what happened. I never finished it. But anyway, enough rambling. Those are the games. I'm gonna leave it up to you guys to decide what you guys want. It is your choice of what my fate is going to be. So, if you guys have other games that you want to suggest, leave them and let them in the comments down below. I have to go because I have no idea what that freaking sound is. 
Um, my name is Figgins, this is my game of mine. Bye.